everyone, welcome back to Wizarding Alice. My name is Alice. If you're new on this channel, I cover all things Harry Potter, Wizarding World, and a bit of Scotland travel and lifestyle thrown in there as well. So if that sounds like something that interests you, be sure to subscribe below. Gee, I have not done that full intro in a while, but anytime I do a video on like a slightly different topic, I feel like I should properly introduce myself because it might sort of, I don't know, bring some new people onto the channel. Um, oh gosh, my hair's really annoying me today. Um, yeah, really exciting video, guys. Only the second video in my bucket list series. If you remember at the start of this year, I introduced this brand new series where essentially any time I did something that worked through my bucket list, that I would film it, basically. Um, so obviously I did an introduction video talking through my bucket list and I swam with sharks, which was awesome. And I've not really done anything since then. I've done lots of cool things, just nothing that was on my bucket list, but we're finally ticking another one off and it's the biggie, it's the biggest. I got a dog. I've wanted a dog my entire life, but just due to like my family's lifestyle and stuff like that, it just wasn't feasible at the time. Like the dog would just be left on their own all the time, basically. But see, now I'm an adult, kind of, <laughs> with my own money and um, I work from home as well. Hold on, I'm not happy with, there we go. This is all very off the cuff. Um, and you know, I, I work from home, so that's kind of like my lifestyle now. I was able to get myself a dog and I love her so much. So um, here's the story. Well, no, I, I, I haven't even planned how this is gonna work. This has been manic. Since having the dog, I've just been all over the place. Like nothing's planned, everything's a mess, <laughs> but it's amazing. So I think what I'll do first is I'll introduce you to my dog and then I can kind of talk through the story. Joey. Jolene. She's looking at herself in the mirror right now. Come here, honey. Come here. Good girl. Do you want to say hello to the people? Oh, look, Jolene. It's you. It's you. So this is Jolene. She's perfect. She loves kisses. Um, yeah, this is Jolene. She is a Cavapoo. She is pretty much exactly two months old and she's perfect. Yes, we've called her Jolene. She's been here, how long have we had her? Um, five days? So not even a full week. Um, but she is settling in so well. She is one of the family, aren't you, Jojo? Her full name is Jolene Hot Stuff Care. Her middle name is Hot Stuff, I've decided. And I'll see if she maybe, she's quite tired, so she might want to have like a little a little nap on my legs. We'll see where she decides to go. She might want to leave. Um, yeah, how, how, what if I move it down? Can you guys... <laughs> there she is. Um, but she's she's a little she's a little wriggly, so she might not want to stay. Hi, honey. Um, so yeah, this is Jolene. She's my cavapoo. I love her so much. So if you don't know, a cavapoo is um, oh a mix between a cavalier, King Charles Spaniel, and a poodle. Pretty sure her mum is a mini poodle rather than one of those like massive poodles that you get. But um, ours is an F1B, basically. <laughs> All you need to know is that her uh, dad was already a cavapoo and her mum is a poodle. So she's not like that pure mix, I suppose. But it does make her extra fluffy and and cuddly and curly um and I just I love her so much like this is the best <laughs> decision I ever made she keeps yawning no she keeps biting too uh best decision I've ever made my whole life like I I couldn't love anything more honestly it's like I've had a child especially because a person I'm not planning on having children I just feel like she is like She's my daughter. <laughs> but anyway, I'm go what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through the story and then, you know, obviously um, I've got clips and stuff which I'll put in at appropriate moments. But basically, um, about a year, <laughs> she can't decide if she wants to bite or yawn. About a year ago, um, I kind of decided that I was going to start this puppy process. Obviously, like I started saving up money and, you know, stuff like that and doing some research. And because um, my family, including myself, are at least like mildly allergic to dogs. We knew we were going to go with a hypoallergenic one um, and kind of looking through the breeds, we thought a cavapoo was really good because they're super cute. Uh, they look like little teddy bears, but also um, they're quite small as well. We didn't want a dog that was too big, but we didn't want like a tiny, tiny little one either. So she's obviously quite small at the moment, but she's going to grow 
only to be a little bit bigger to be fair um and they're not like barky dogs and they're supposed to be quite intelligent i'm not sure <laughs> about jolene but they're supposed to be pretty smart so that they're just a good family dog um and as this is the first time i've ever really owned a pet um i wanted something sort of fairly easy do you know what i mean and very glad i picked a cavapoo so met with um a breeder who lives about an hour away from here i got really lucky i know some people travel for miles and miles and miles and to different countries to get the right dog but luckily she was only an hour away and she breeds um cavapoos cockapoos golden doodles so many crossbreed hypoallergenic dogs um and uh that's when we decided we were gonna go with jolene so in full transparency she was about two thousand pounds she's not a, it's not a cheap dog breed because it's very in demand it's obviously got that hypoallergenic aspect to it um but to me it was worth it you know i would have really paid anything for jolene but i did have to save up for quite a long time you know um so we went to pick her up on saturday today's wednesday <laughs> um and the first day i was really nervous but it went really well she sat so well in the car didn't you honey she she's uh, uh ow stop it her teeth are so sharp i'll get to that in a minute um so she sat so well in the car she just dozed she did fully pee on me i've had a lot of pees while we're toilet training her um but it went really well and she just explored the house the first day that's pretty much all she did and kind of got to know each of the family members and stuff like that but she really just sort of sat and behaved herself she was great and we gave her a couple of toys Ow, oh, no we've got her lots of toys and um, but we're kind of introducing a new one each day rather than just sort of throwing them all at her at once and that seems to have worked quite well because every time we introduce a new toy that's like her obsession for the day do you know what i mean um so she kind of values each toy so that seems to be working quite well um we've got a cage for her um i'd say a cage it's a playpen it's an open top we i didn't like the idea of putting her in a cage it just didn't feel right to me um which she will not sleep in she doesn't like it do you honey you will not sleep in the playpen but she does use it as a playpen like that's where her toys are she likes going in there and having a little play it's kind of like your own little zone isn't it when you want to be left alone you'll go into your little playpen um but her temperament she is so sweet and lovely and playful and all she wants to do is be around people like i'm a little nervous about the sort of separation anxiety she's gonna feel when i have to go somewhere so every day we've kind of been leaving her alone for a little bit longer every time but she cries like crazy the whole time but we have to do it it's good for you let's give you something to chew on that's not me dinosaur jolene jolene <laughs> see jolene but yeah like um when she naps she has to be she's be as close to you as possible when she naps like she'll literally like lay her head on your knee which is so cute she falls asleep on me all the time that's the thing about cavapoos is they're just obsessed with people like they're really not as fussed about other dogs but they love people and just want to be around as many people as possible and make you happy so yeah they're they're all about that and when she plays she brings her toys over to whoever's closest and plays next to them like it's so sweet she's just obsessed with being around people which is just the cutest thing ever so yeah i'd say overall like the experience has been so good so far like like i say she's so sweet she's so calm even when she's like got the zoomies and stuff um you know it's really nothing too crazy she does she's got the cutest little run because she's so tiny and her legs are so short she just sort of bounds and jumps rather than actually runs um the only thing that's kind of causing issues at the moment obviously she's not fully toilet trained but we are getting there um and also i'm having to put my hand behind my back the thing her biting is the thing now she's just playing there's no aggression to it at all she just gets excited and she's teething as well so she just has this urge to bite everything but baby teeth are sharp puppy teeth are incredibly sharp um so it really hurts <laughs> like she has drawn blood um so we're just trying to teach her at the moment that she's not going to get positive attention for biting skin um but she does get positive attention for biting her toys and her playthings because that's what you're supposed to bite that right jolene so that's really the only thing that sort of i suppose has been causing a bit of trouble but you know it she's teething it is what it is when she gets her adult teeth in it won't be as much of a problem but we just want to make sure that she doesn't like get into the habit of thinking like oh biting gets me lots of attention do you know what i mean and she does it anyway but 
yeah, gosh, she's she's perfect. She's not had her second vaccine yet, so we've not been able to take her on any walks. So she's got quite a lot of pent up energy. I feel quite bad, but we go into the garden every hour ish um, to try and encourage her to go to the toilet out there rather than in the house. And we have a little play. She loves chasing the balls. She's got some tiny, tiny little Jolene sized tennis balls that she loves to play with, don't you? You love chasing after them. And we're trying to teach her some recall. So to come back when we say Jolene, which she's getting there. I think she knows it's her name now, at least. <laughs> but first time ever sort of training dogs. So I've got no idea. We have signed up for puppy classes, but she can't do that till she's had her second vaccine, which is in like two weeks. So we're just gonna try our best until then, aren't we? But like, she'll literally quite happily sit like a baby, <laughs> you know, as long as she's getting attention from you. She's a happy little puppy. Mwah. She's so responsive to kisses and hugs and strokes and all the rest of it, aren't you? And little boops. Those boops. And she's not trying to bite you. <laughs> but honestly, she's my little companion. I know you're supposed to let them cry in the night so they sleep on their own that has not happened she sleeps with me in the bed not in the bed but on the bed um and she loves it don't you honey so we've been doing 10 to 6 but she typically wakes up at 5 um so I just sort of give her some toys and she plays until 6 which is when I will get up and then like give her breakfast and take her outside and have a little play when she can walk we'll go on a walk at that point but we just go outside for a play and then she has her lunch about 12 and her dinner at 5, isn't that right? And the plan will be that at lunchtime she'll go and play in the garden and at around about, before she goes to bed basically, we'll go on a, like a longer walk. So I'm just trying to kind of get her into that routine, but obviously just going out into the garden. I also take her on little adventures down the street so she can learn the street and learn where the house is, but I can only carry her. She can't walk because she hasn't got the vaccine. So we go on a little carry walk, don't we? Get to see all the birds. She loves that she stays so still, which normally means she's like hyper focused on what she's seeing. But yeah, and she's got lots of toys. Um, her favorite one is actually, weirdly enough, this like old teddy bear that my brother had when he was little. And I was like, she needs something to like, cuddle against that kind of feels a bit more like a person so we got the bear and I'll get it she looks so much like this bear it's her twin let's go in let's go and get it <laughs> management wants you to find the difference between these two pictures <laughs> there's no difference do you want down honey what do you want what do you want I'm trying to <coughs> I'm trying to like be very respectful of what she's trying to tell me um you know so if she wants to get down she'll go down I won't force her to hug me or anything um, I don't know if that's recommended. I just feel like that's the right thing to do. So I'll wait and see. You want down? Okay, there you go, honey. You go have a little play. I did kind of, she was sort of getting close to a nap when I decided to film this. So she's probably a little cranky with me. Um, oh, she's so cute. She's trying to bite my feet now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, I, I don't remember what I was talking about, but that's going to be our routine. She loves her little bear, um, loves her toys. And, um, the other day I actually took her to my friend's flat uh, because they have no dogs or pets there at all, no contact with any pets. So I felt like it was safe to go there. Um, oh, I'm so distracted. Uh, so she got to meet some new people, which I think is really important to be able to socialize and not get freaked out by people she doesn't recognize. And that went so well. And it actually worked out really well as well because one of her flatmates had a couple of people over for dinner as well. So there was a few more people around, but she did so well. She loved the attention. She got so many pets and so many treats, didn't you? So she did so well. So, you know, I think overall, like her temperament and stuff is just absolutely perfect. She's the perfect little dog. It's just really getting those training points in, um, to which, which will be useful. Like, because she's a puppy, she's a baby, she has to pee so often. So like every hour I'm going out to take her out to pee. And even then she'll quite often pee in between those times as well inside and it just is what it is, I suppose. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. She just loves going around sniffing everything. But she really struggles in a room on her own. We're trying to train her, as I say. So 
today um i'll go have a shower at some point and i'll leave her while i go have a shower because i've got no choice and then i think what i'm going to do as well is go outside for 10 minutes as if i've like gone out to do something and she will cry but she just needs to learn that sometimes that's going to happen but we'll always come back that's really what we're trying to get across so if you have any tips for something like that if you've had a doll please let me know because that's the hardest part is this attachment issue because i've taken this week off as like a paternity leave as we're calling it um just so i can spend my whole time focusing on her and I'm so glad I did because she's taking up a lot of time. She needs a lot of attention, but I go back to work next week. Um, so I'm a little nervous about working from home while she's still needing so much attention because work's really busy at the moment. So I, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I might do a day in my life video soon um, or I might have already done it. I don't know, but I'm going to do one, but it might have gone up before this video. Um, we'll see kind of how I'm coping with that, but I am pretty nervous and I've got this like guilt, you know, that's so common with people who have actual babies of like, I'm not spending enough time with my child. I'm working instead, but if I'm spending time with her, things are piling up at work and people rely on me. And it's a, it's a, it's funny. I, I didn't expect to kind of feel that with having a dog, you know what I mean? But you do get so attached so quickly. What is she doing? Oh, she's eating my slipper. We've kind of donated all our slippers to <laughs> Jolene. We're like, you know what? You can just have them. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, just wanted to give you this life update that I do have a little dog now. Her name is Jolene. She's absolutely perfect. And you're going to be seeing her on the channel a lot. So I thought it was a good time to introduce her. Jolene, do you want to come and say goodbye? Jolene. So you're not really, you're not going to get her away from the slippers. How about if I move this? Jolene. Jolene. <gasps> Who is that? You can see all the stuff all over the floor. Jolene. <laughs> she says bye. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say, let me get you back up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little life update and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.